What if the sun was replaced with Arcturus? Okay, let's go ahead and replace the sun with Arcturus. So there it is here. So it's an orange giant. It's got a similar mass to the sun. But it's a lot larger in radius. And is, of course, it's a lot brighter. So let's go ahead and plop it in. And as you can see already, it is a lot brighter. So let's go ahead and put our lower light mode on. And as you can see, it's... Um, Quite the size, yeah, 25 times the radius of the sun is a big difference. So if we look at the planets immediately, we can see Mercury is at 800 degrees. Not looking too great, we can go ahead and zoom in on it here. So Mercury already instantly is just got a scorched face from the luminosity of the star. So there you go, it is being vaporized. Same with Venus, let's go ahead and see Venus. So Venus is also getting pretty scorched, as we can see here. If we go to the Earth, also glowing hot in size. This one's at 855 degrees as well, so Earth is not having a good time. And it is getting pretty scorched. There it is, for the star. We go to Mars, same deal, but not as bad. It's at 243. We can see it. some patches of Mars have actually got liquid water on them, so some of our Mars' water has actually melted and is at a reasonable temperature in the uh, higher regions by the looks of things, so... There is Mars. If we go on to the gas giants, so we've got Jupiter over here. Jupiter's still minus 70 or 75, and everyone, all the other gas giants are still remaining cold. If we speed up the simulation as well, we can see if there's any uh, more changes. The orbits and stuff should stay pretty much the same due to the mass of the star being very similar to the sun, so there shouldn't be any changes with the mass. So it's mainly going to be the temperatures of the planets themselves. Remember, this star as well is about 195 luminosity of the sun, so it, has, it really has made the difference already. So if we go ahead and slow things back down, look at the planets again for a final sort of temperature. So Mercury's going up into the thousands, as we can see here with its um, orbit, but as we know, Mercury's orbit is slightly eccentric, so at one point it's closer to the sun, another point it's further from the sun, so that does range in its temperatures. Venus here is at 2,000 degrees now, with a bit of simulation runtime. Earth, 1,100 Mars, 700, and everything past Mars. We've got the asteroid belt, even objects like Ceres, 300 plus degrees as well. Vesta, 400 there. So you can see there's a range of temperatures in the asteroid belt, and then obviously towards Jupiter. Even Jupiter's in the 170s now. A little further out. Saturn, 33. Uranus, still in the cold. Let's do a final bit of run simulation. See if we can warm Uranus up a bit. And it looks like, yeah, Uranus. Once you go past Saturn, still stays cold. Saturn's at 30, changing in very on its orbit. Everything past Saturn remains cold.